in the dashboard. As you can see, it's quite torn apart. And I've started the gel coat. It's rough, but that's okay. It's first coat. Cracks filled in. I'm doing the cheater way. I only need it to last two, three years. And I'll have it redone professionally. It's fairly smooth. Believe it or not, it's neutral, so it's not a color. It's just mixed it up 12 drops to an ounce. It's, um, I can't remember what brand it is. It's downstairs. But, uh, it's rough, it needs to be sanded, but that's the way it always looks. I've come across a problem though. The previous guy put this black silicone in. It was a vinyl trim piece, uh, vinyl over, vacuum formed over a um, lightweight plastic piece, and apparently it was coming up because he screwed. Each one of these down, which of course caused major cracking because he just screwed it in. He didn't bother to pre-drill it. It's cracked wherever he put one in. It's been over tightened and everything else. But so now I've got this black silicone I can't get off, and I, I honestly don't know how to get it off. So I don't know what to do there, but that's where I am. I'm not far away from having an opportunity to paint this. I had fine cracking over here. I don't think it was terrible. But I filled I ground it out and filled it in anyway. I'm going to, to um, have this go from about here. Sorry, I'm struggling with the phone today. Here, and then I'm going to bring the line down all the way forward, kind of aiming down towards that point down there. There we go and kind of have it come back where it'll just be smooth like, like the down here cruisers chose to put this into the mold it's not uh, it's actually in the mold it's not a spray on stuff or anything it's kind of a pain in the butt you have to figure out how to work with it but that's where I am I've got quite a few places I'm going to smooth out. I may even just smooth this whole thing out. Just sand it back. Because it's really obnoxious. And then put proper uh, sprinkle down on it. I don't know. That's where I am. Alright. So I've been defeated. I got some of it to come off. Um, using a number of chemicals and 320 grit sandpaper but uh, it took me a long time far too long to be of any abuse then I got down here and I couldn't get it to come up no matter what I did so I'm gonna have to somebody on the cruisers site on Facebook suggested I do um, some MEK so that's what I'm gonna go do see if I can get some MEK and I also need to get a wooden spatula because I've got a few dings and scrapes from using a metal one. Yeah. So, for putting on the gel coat. So, I'm going to have to do something different. Alright, see you in a little bit. Well, success. <clears throat> Excuse me. I ended up getting, uh, I, just, I just went to power tools. Never ever go wrong with power tools. So, I ended up getting a. Uh, a brass brush for my Dremel, sorry. This is what I ended up getting. Let's come down here in the light. So you can see it better. Worked really well. Uh, it took about 10 minutes, took it all off. When in doubt, get the Dremel, I guess. Nice night for some more dash work. I'll show you what I'm showing, or to show you what I'm doing. So I've got some good cracking here, and I've decided to just smooth this out, flare it, fill it. Um, all of this texture that the factory put on, I'm going to smooth it all out, and just have a nice clean stripe. I'm not going to go all the way to the front with it. 
just going to go to there. I don't really care what it looks like to other people. It looks good to me. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I think that'll work out just fine. It'll take some sanding to get it where I want it. It's 6.30 at night, so I'm not going to sand too long. Ruin people's nights, but that's where it are.